Will you demand that that money be redeposited in the account? I have to in order to keep my kids where they live and to put food on their table. I need that money to provide for them. Um, you have to understand my position here. We were in a position after our sextuplets were born that we could not pay our bills. Um, we did the show to provide a better life for them. Never did I think I would be back in the same position um, worried about providing for them. Well, let, let's talk about what's happened to this show. It all really began last week when TLC announced that it was going on hiatus. It would come back as, in, not as John and Kate plus eight, but as Kate plus eight, that John would have a limited role. Were you aware that that was going to happen? And were you part of that decision making, Kate? Did you want John to have a limited role? I was aware of it, um, but I wasn't in the decision process. Um, I was in agreement with it because I feel like um, at this point, unfortunately, we do have different goals. And it appears to me, my opinion, that there is one parent at this point that, are pull that is pulling for the best of our children. And it's upsetting to me, and I think that it was upsetting to the world to watch um, the unraveling. I feel like um, John is, you know, not on the same path as me, obviously. And I, I felt like it was the best thing um, to come out of this. And I'm a contract honorer. When I put my name on a piece of paper, um, the situation may change, but I want to um, to do what I say, say I'm doing. And, and, yet and, John, I, and yet John has argued in the past few days that the best thing would be for this show to be off the air right now, that he's, he claims that the kids have said to him, they don't want any more filming, and TLC has in fact postponed the filming uh, because he has basically said cease and desist. Did you have a conversation with John about that, about postponing the show, at least for the time being? I have never had a conversation. I do not talk about these issues with him because it seems that whenever I have a conversation and we solve something, different things, he hangs up the phone and does something completely different. This is historical. It's almost not even really worth it anymore. I do talk to him about custody um, when I can get a hold of him. It's not for a lack of trying on my part as far as communication. I have called 20 times a day before and have found myself making decisions alone um, without his consent because I c simply cannot reach him. Um, the kids have, over the weekend, I told them that we're not filming at this point, and actually, times eight, there was wailing and sobbing. They love our crew, they love um, the interaction, they love the events, and there is nothing harmful about it. They are angry. So when he says the kids have said to him they want the filming to stop, your response to that is? I'm sorry, I, I'm not present all the time, but it has never happened, not the response I saw this weekend. Kate, where do you think the disconnect is? Because John also said that he had had an epiphany, that he wanted the divorce proceedings halted for 90 days, that he wanted you two to become friends and to mediate together, and that he was going to reach out to you and actually apologize to you. Can you be friends? Is it possible at this point for you two to, to bury this hatchet and to mediate together, or has it gone too far? He has gone way far off the trail. Um, I will keep peace where I need to keep peace. Obviously, I'm very upset. Um, I can't sleep at night. I can't pay my bills. Um, I think that he's receiving bad counsel. Um, he has always been one to listen to the person who's next to him. And I think that he's receiving bad advice. I think he's making bad decisions. And, um, you know, I, I honestly call me crazy. I've said it before, but I... I'm still hoping that at some point I'll receive a phone call and the old John is back. But if John decides that he wants this show postponed or removed from the air, he has the power to do that, doesn't he? TLC has always said if any one of us um, comments that, you know, it is not healthy, it's not good, whatever, they will honor that. And even just the allegation, um, they, they have to abide by that. They have to hear his voice in that. And unfortunately, it's, um, you know, our source of income. And um, so in one fell swoop, in one week, he, he basically at his hands, you know, all of this has been removed, our, our money, our, our income. It's, it's a terribly hard situation to be in. I never wanted to sit here talking about these details. I just feel like I need to get the facts out there, the truth, not my opinion, the truth of what has actually occurred and what is occurring, because when my kids look back on it, I don't want them to see untruths. I want them to see the balance of, no, no, this is reality. But does any part of you, Kate, believe that maybe he's right, maybe enough's enough now? Maybe it's time to 
to put their show to bed and to, to, to resolve these issues very privately? I, I wish I could, but he keeps playing to the media. He doesn't tell me the things that you're, the things you've seen him say on TV, I have never heard from him. It doesn't even sound like his words. Um, and I've, he's never picked up the phone and said any of those things to me. It's Okay, we appreciate you being here this morning. So many other things I'd like to talk to you about, Thank hopefully you. at another time. Thank you so Thanks, much. Andrew. Kate Gosling. And now let's get a check of the weather from now. All right. Thank you very much, Meredith. Sad situation. But we